With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. So let's see this question. In this question it is given that for a complex reaction, A2 products, there is different values of EA1, EA2, EA3 is given to you. Overall rate constant you need to determine is given by the equation k1 k2 by k3 to the power 2 by 3 right activation energy for the overall reaction you need to calculate so these are the three values of activation energy for three different step in a reaction so let's see we all know by Arrhenius equation that k is equals to a into e to the power minus ea divided by rt this value we all know a is equals to a into e to the power minus ea by rt so from this equation we can easily write down what is that k1 is equals to a into e to the power minus ea1 divided by rt similarly k2 is equals to a into e to the power minus ea2 divided by rt and similarly k3 is equal to a into e to the power minus ea3 divided by rt so these are the three values of k1 k2 and k3 right now what is our aim our aim is to calculate the activation energy of the overall reaction so we have been given this equation that overall rate constant is given by k1 k2 divided by k3 whole to the power 2 by 3 right so instead of this k1 k2 and k3 we can substitute this value from Arrhenius equation this value this value and this value so when you will substitute it you can write it like this a into e to the power minus ea by rt into a into e to the power minus ea2 divided by rt whole divided by as you can see k3 is a into e to the power minus ea3 divided by rt so this is the equation which we have got till yet so from this equation it is very clear that k is equals to 1 a will cancel out so this denominator a and this a will cancel get cancel out and since you have the same base of e in the numerator as well as the denominator you can write it down like this so here it will be to the power whole to the power 2 by 3 now since you have the same base you can write it down like this a into 2 by 3 and then e to the power minus ea by rt right minus ea1 this was ea1 this is ea2 by rt and this will be minus of minus plus ea3 divided by rt this will be the whole value and this will be multiplied by 2 by 3 right so this is what it will be multiplied with now let's see now let's see finally what we get as k value k is equals to a to the power 2 by 3 into e to the power let's take out 1 by rt common so we can write down 1 by rt can be taken out common so finally minus ea1 minus ea2 plus ea3 whole divide that is multiplied by whole multiplied by 2 by 3 so this is what we have got till yet now we all know that k can be written as let's take a dash into e to the power minus ea by rt this can be k so substituting this value of k here in the equation you can say that a dash e to the power minus ea by rt that can be written as a to the power 2 by 3 into e to the power 1 by rt whole multiplied by minus ea1 minus ea2 plus ea3 into 2 by 3 right so from here on comparing you can write down on comparing what you will get you will get a dash as 
a dash as a to the power 2 by 3 and e to the power minus ea by rt will be equals to e to the power 1 by rt whole multiplied by minus ea 1 minus ea 2 plus ea 3 into 2 by 3 right this is the one so on comparing this power on comparing the power you can write down very easily that on comparing power minus ea by rt will be equals to 1 by rt minus ea1 minus ea2 plus ea3 this whole multiplied by 2 by 3 right so on comparing power you can write like this now from here you can say that this rt and this rt will get cancelled out so finally what is ea ea can be written as ea can be written as 2 by 3 times this minus will go there so you can write down ea1 plus ea2 minus ea3 now your work is to just substitute the values of ea1 ea2 and ea3 so on substituting the values of ea1 ea1 is 180 right ea1 is 180 then it is 80 and then it is 50 so 180 80 and 50 so just you substitute 180 plus 80 minus 50 so from here you will get the value of ea as 140 kilojoule per mole so this is our required answer for the given question so let's see which option is matching so from here you can say that option 4 is matching that is which option is correct option d is correct right so we can write down option d is correct fine i hope you have understood thank you very much for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today